Preview is the app on the Mac that opens up when you're reading a PDF document or looking at a picture. But it's not just a viewer, it's also a fully fledged editor. There's much more to it than meets the eye. Or magnification glass? Loop? I'm, I'm not really sure what that is. So today I'm going to show you the six features that will help you master preview. I have three tips for working with documents and three for editing pictures. Starting with number one, you can freely combine PDFs together. Say you have two documents you need to merge into one, or maybe you have one document but you want to add a page or a photo in the middle of there. You click the menu button on the left side of the toolbar, and then you check to enable thumbnails. Then you can drag in pages from a different document, you can add a photo in the middle of there. Whenever you close or save the document, it'll bundle it all together into one file. Number two is a new feature of macOS Sonoma, so be sure to update your Mac before you go trying this one at home. You open up a PDF, and you can hit the new Form button to the right side of the toolbar next to the Search button. This will automatically search for all of the text fields in the document, all the boxes, all the blank lines, and it will make them text fields. So you can just click on either one, type in whatever you need to type in, and hit the Tab key to advance to the next one. To sign something, you click this button right here to add a signature. You can have multiple saved signatures, and you can click Create Signature to add a new one. You can try tracing with your finger on your trackpad or an iPhone. Even as a graphic designer myself, I have a hard time making this not suck, so I go with camera instead. You just sign your name on a blank piece of paper, hold it up to the camera, and it'll scan it and drop it in. You can just add your John Hancock right on the bottom there. Number three, if there's a part of your document that you need to censor, use the Redact tool. It looks like a little black box. You can click and drag over a paragraph of text to censor it, or you can draw a rectangle and drag it around and resize it over an image. As long as the document is open, you can still edit these redactions, but as soon as you close or save it, everything underneath the black will be deleted. Number four is really short and sweet. If you copy an image from the web, you can just go to Preview and hit File, New from Clipboard, or hit Command N, and it'll open right up. Number five, the Markup Toolbar. You hit this icon with a pen, and you'll see all of these new tools for editing. You have your Select Tools right here. Sketch lets you scribble with the mouse or a trackpad. It'll automatically detect if you draw a shape like a square or an arrow. When that happens, you'll see this little on-screen palette where you can turn that on or off. Shapes will let you add in a variety of these preset shapes. The highlight box will draw your attention to one part of the image, as will the magnification bubble if you want to zoom in on a particular part. Text adds a simple text box that you can set the width of. Signature works the same as it does before. Adjust color will give you all of these advanced sliders for brightness, saturation, sepia tone, and more. Adjust size will resample the image if you want it a different resolution, maybe if you want it smaller in an email or on the web. If you have something selected, you can click Shape Style to adjust the line thickness. You can make the outline dashed or textured, add arrowheads, or add a drop shadow. The next two buttons let you pick a line color and a fill color. Text Style, which is inexplicably very far away from the text button, will adjust the font, color, and alignment of a text box. An image description lets you add alt text to an image for accessibility. Now keep in mind that if you're exporting to an image format like JPEG or PNG, all of your edits will be flattened as soon as you save the document, but if you're saving to a PDF, someone might be able to go in and remove the shapes that you've added. So don't use the rectangle tool to censor your important documents. Use the redact tool instead. Finally, number six, you can instantly make a transparency out of any image, cutting the subject out of the background. You just go to Tools, Remove Background, or hit Shift-Command-K. If you really zoom in, you can see it isn't perfectly precise, but this can save you loads of editing time. So if you learned something from this video, remember to like and subscribe. You can check out this other video I made on other Mac utilities. I'm D. Griffin Jones with Cult of Mac.